Okay, good morning guys, happy Tuesday. So breakfast today is gonna to be some cream of wheat. I have one and a half servings of cream of wheat here. So it's roughly about five, probably five smart points or so. I put just a drizzle of sugar-free syrup on there and just um, a little bit of skim milk on top. And then I have a Thomas English Muffin the light, which is three smart points or simply filling. And then some spray butter and red raspberry preserves. There's also some spray butter on here. So it's 100% simply filling. If you're counting smart points, it's gonna be about eight smart points. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pack for lunch and snack today. I'm gonna to cut this apple up. And then I have a wrap here. Um, the wrap itself is one of the, I think it's Tumoro. They're the ones that say skip the sandwich. They're the low carb wraps. This is the honey wheat. So I have this inside here is Let's see, there's three slices of the Hillshire Farm Naturals lunch meat, which um, is 99% fat free, so it's simply filling. And it also has some spicy brown mustard, some sprouts, some shredded lettuce, a piece of the Kraft fat free cheese. So it's 100% simply filling. As far as points, it's two points for the wrap, one point for the lunch meat so it is only three points for the wrap if you count points I'm taking a yogurt this is the black cherry and this is simply filling or three smart points then we have um, sugar-free jello which is a zero so that will probably be lunch today and then for snacks I'm going to bring along um, vegetables popcorn and uh, sugar, my applesauce so the popcorn is a three points or simply filling. So all of this is 100% simply filling. Okay, so I've had a lot of comments with people asking me about the iced passion fruit lemonade tea that I've been making. And this is kind of a copycat version of the Starbucks. Um, I asked my local Starbucks what they used for their passion fruit tea and they told me it was the base was this was a lemonade that was has sugar now one of my Starbucks has a, a sugar-free but the other one doesn't which is very strange but it is what it is so the one I most re most often go to is the one that does not have a sugar-free base so I wanted I just decided also cost wise I can make this a lot cheaper myself so she told me that they use this Tazo brand of the passion fruit tea so I bought this this comes in these there are these big pouches and this makes um, 64 ounces of tea so I just make this according to package directions it's on the side here so just make that according to package directions then buy yourself some crystal light I bought the ones that go into the 16 ounce bottles um, I actually thought I was buying the bigger pouches but this they were right next to each other I just bought the wrong one basically so um, I put two of the little pouches into this. So I make this according to package directions, and then I add in two packages of this. No, no additional water or anything, and this, guys, this tastes amazing. So you should try it. It is yummy, really good, and I have been having this a lot lately. So highly recommend this. So for our Healthy Habits Challenge this week, we are doing tracking. So I just wanted to show you my tracking for yesterday. Um, you see, I did a two mile walk with Leslie, a 10 minute abs, and then I had weigh in, so I tracked all that. I already did my walk this morning. I did the three mile hit walk with Leslie, which is the high intensity walk, and it was 45 minutes, so that is done. And then, okay, so I did track Sunday as well, so I have Sunday and Monday on here. Um, I, what I'm tracking down here is if I'm using any smart points, my points, or it, yeah, any like smart point weeklies under Simply Filling. So um, I don't plan on doing any smart point days this day. I plan on only being Simply Filling days. So I'm just keeping track of how many weekly points. I tricky it track here, and I also keep a track in my Weight Watchers app as well. So that's what this 35 is. I have 35 weeklies every week to use on smart points um, if I choose to do so. So I didn't use any yesterday. And that's what these zeros are here for too, just to, to keep track of any points that I use. Um, so I have my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner over here. I just sort of keep track of my snacks and my coffee that I drink. And I only drank with skim milk yesterday. And this is my cups of water. So 
I have I had 10 cups of water yesterday and then here's all my snacks that I had so yesterday I did not use any weekly points I already have my lunch tracked and my dinner tracked I still have to write my breakfast in and then um, this is my planned snacks and I have had three cups of water already so I need to mark that down but this is my tracking for the week so far one day in tracking is going great Good morning, so happy Tuesday. How is everyone's Monday? Mine was pretty good. Um, busy day today at work. I have a new employee coming in. I have to do an orientation for, and I'll take a couple hours, and then I have a lot of catch up stuff to do from having a week off, so. I wanna know why I volunteered to run this walking challenge at work because it is turning into such a lot of work. I mean, it's just a lot of work because I did not think we would have 80 people participating. I think we have 84. So, I, I mean, we only have 200 employees. So I did, did not even, even begin to believe we could have that many people. So we have like 21 teams. So everybody was turning in their stuff yesterday. I forgot to send the email out um, reminding people to send their things in, but people still did. So I need to do that today, send an email out. And then I start, need, need to start adding up all the steps and converting the miles. Oh my gosh, it is so much work. <laughs> and we're doing this until June or until somebody gets to New York, but I don't think it'll be before June. So yeah, exciting stuff. But I'll get that. I'm gonna. I'll do that at my when I can. Um, and what else do I have going on? Nothing else really. I think my happy planner, my mini happy planner, is supposed to be in today. I have to go pick it up at the Michaels store because the shipping was like four dollars cheaper and like four, well supposed to be four days faster doing it shipped to store rather than shipped to home. Now I wish I would have just done shipped to home because the, it was supposed to be here actually this last weekend, like Friday or Saturday, but then it was, I think, how would have the UPS thing said? It said, I don't know, basically they redid the date. I don't remember the wording they used, but rescheduled delivery, I think is what they called it. And I guess when you do ship to store, there's no guarantee of days. So I probably won't do that again because it was four dollars cheaper, but still, I mean, it's yeah. But I got a really good deal to put. I used my sixty percent off coupon, so I got um, I got it for whatever fifteen dollars, sixty percent off that, whatever that is. So I'm kind of excited to use that. My other planner, I actually been using it, and now I'm kind of conflicted. But I think I will go ahead and just use them because the, the other one is really hard to fit in my purse and I don't want to go to a bigger purse again because I like having kind of a medium sized one. So the mini hap center I know will fit better in my purse. So maybe I'll just use the other planner for home stuff and then just use my mini one for tracking and like YouTube stuff or something. I think that's what I'll do. Um, yeah. So I'm almost to work. Um, I might have my son with me after work. I don't know if he's gonna walk to my work after school or after his, he has a meeting, or if um, I need to pick him up at school. If I pick him up at school, I'll check in with you guys after work. If he walks to my work, then I will talk to you guys in the morning. But um, yeah, this weekend he has the Science Olympics at one of the state colleges. <clears throat> it's an all day thing. I was gonna go, but I don't know if I'm gonna go or not. Um, there's really not like, and I mean, there is some areas for spectators, but not from what I was reading, not really, and they all drive up together. I have to have him at the school on Saturday at six o'clock in the morning, on a Saturday, really? So I might, so that means I have to do my grocery shopping by myself this weekend, since he will be doing that. So I might just go ahead and, um, just do my grocery shopping. The only thing is Costco doesn't open until 9.30, so I wouldn't be able to go there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, look at my sleeves on my shirt. Oh, I completely untied it. Dang it. Now I gotta figure out how to tie it <laughs> when it's on my arm. But yeah, I have these cute little like, yeah, see? 
Those are cute, huh? But yeah, now I gotta figure out how to tie it. So that was fun. Anyway, so I am at work, so I'm gonna call my hubby and let him know I got here, and I will check in with you guys later. And it seems like everybody liked seeing the times on my food um, in the food vlog yesterday. So I will continue doing that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. guys just got off work so I thought check in really quick to go pick up my son from school and he informed me today and I am not happy about this oh my goodness so we he has some competition this weekend for um, for school for one of his after school clubs and um, he was going to have to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just get my grocery shop done, shopping done early and then go home and then go back and go to Costco or something. I think I told you guys about this this morning. So he texted me early this afternoon or late morning and told me that he has to be there at 4.30 in the morning on Saturday. Are you kidding me? I asked him, I said, you need to let me know because I don't know who you're hearing this from and, and it could be true, but you know, he had his meeting was today after school. So he's just hearing this from other people. So I don't know, 4.30 in the morning. The competition is at um, Oregon State University, which from here is about two hours, two and a half hours, I would say from here. So in the competition, if I remember right from the paperwork he gave me, it does not start until like eight or nine. So why do they need to leave at 4.30 in the morning? And they're getting back at seven, which makes sense because I know it went till four. So, you know, bus driving, getting kids on the bus and all that. So I understand the getting back thing, but I don't understand the leaving at 4.30. So I told him, I said, I want you to find out for sure because I am not gonna bring you to school at 4.30 in the morning and then find out that you were wrong and it was really six. Cause then I just almost tempted just to leave him there and go home and go back to bed. <laughs> but he's kind of, sometimes he can be kind of irresponsible with things like that or just kind of like at the last minute. But anyway, we'll see what happens. 4.30, so in that case, no. I am not gonna go grocery shopping at 4.30 in the morning. Now mind you, the one grocery store I go to, my local grocery store is a 24 hour store and our Walmart's 24 hour. But I do not even want to know. I don't even know. I'm sorry. Our, I don't want to go shopping at 4.30 in the morning because I can let you know right now with the way our town is and <laughs> the way that I know the people are in this town, I do not want to shop with those people that are being out at 4.30 in the morning. So, you know, and there might be some people who just got off work or something. I don't know, but I just would not feel comfortable. So I am going to, I'll just, I'll, I won't go to bed though. I think I'll just literally roll out of bed, get some shoes on and take him to school and then go home and just take a shower and get ready to go. At least I'll get out the door early because I'll have to do it myself, but a long day for him though 4 30 in the morning until 7 o'clock at night that's a long day I bet half those kids will be sleeping on the way up there I think it's kind of and it's a it's a like a competition where you have to remember things and I'm thinking 4 30 in the morning man those poor kids I mean their brains are not gonna be rested <laughs> so I don't know it just seems kind of strange so I'm hoping that when I go pick him up right now He's gonna tell me, oh, I was wrong. It's not 4.30 in the morning. And I'll be like, yay. So, so today, um, I am starving today. And I think I know why. I ate everything with the, with, except for my applesauce, which I finally just put in my desk at work. Um, but I ate everything today. And I did take clips of it. Um, 
That's why I think why. Because I did the Leslie Sansone HIT workout, um, which is a like party, it's like party to the hits, but it's one of those high intent that has high intensity movements in it. So I did that and it's 45 minutes. So I did that and I'm really tired today. I know that's why because I got up at um, 4.30 to be able to do that workout to get in the shower um, by 5.15. So um, anyway, so yeah, I've been up since, it was actually like 4.20. It was 4.20 when I got up and went and got my water and got everything together. So. Um, but I did that 45 minute workout then I walked on my morning break and then I wasn't gonna oh no yeah I walked on my morning break but not until like 10 10 30 ish about 10 30 actually um my co-worker had to pick up a prescription which is there's a place just like not very far from our work and so we took our break and we did that and then um, I walked at 30 minutes on my lunch. So I walked at 1030 and then I walked again and it was almost like, it was like about 20, 25 minutes on our walk. And then I walked again at 1230 at my, after I ate, I ate my lunch first and then I went for a walk for about 30 minutes. And then, um, I walked to my afternoon break. So yeah, so I did a lot of walking today and I think that's why I'm so hungry because of all the walking. But anyway, I'm almost to the school, so I am going to go, but I will um, be filming dinner tonight. It'll be part of my whole collab, collab what is that word, Computation of recipe videos this week. I'm going to do four in one, one video. It'll be really super short, and they're one pot meals. So that'll be tonight. One of them, the second one will be tonight, and it's a one skillet Mexican casserole. And it has, um, it has only supposed to have rice in it, but I'm going to beef it up with some rice cauliflower. So I'm going to change the recipe up so it will be in, um, so anyway, that rest, that video should be up by this weekend because I have four recipes throughout this week that I'm doing. So my goal is to get that video up by Saturday or Sunday. So I got to go. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Bye guys.